you're dealing with zone transfers, this is where I'm replicating to a secondary DNS server. You only do zone transfers to a secondary DNS server. This secondary DNS server is going to have a read-only copy. Now, if I do stub zones, this is also transferring to a secondary server because the stub zone is read-only. By default, Microsoft DNS servers do not allow for zone transfers. They want you to use Active Directory integrated zones because it's more secure, it has better replication, it's multiple master, all this other stuff. So if you wanted to be able to do zone transfers, you have to go in and um, allow it. And we'll show you that in just a second. There's a couple of different types of zone transfers. We have a full zone transfer, also known as an AXFR, and an incremental zone transfer, which is an IXFR. AXFR transfers everything. This is typically used when you do your initial replication to a secondary. This is used um, if you have a DNS server that's wildly out of date. We will do a full zone transfer. It also used to be the only type of transfer that Microsoft NT supported. You had to give me a full zone transfer anytime even one record changed. And then the internet standard says, you know, full zone transfers are not the best thing. Why not just send the changes? And then Microsoft embraced that. And we now have incremental zone transfers, IXFRs, that will just send you what has been modified based on the serial number. When we do this, it's typically a poll situation where my secondaries will say, okay, it's been so many minutes since I last uh, heard from that machine. Let me go ahead and say, hey, do you have any changes? And then it'll go ahead and send me any changes, either the full zone transfer or uh, um, incremental zone transfer. However, we have the ability to set up DNS Notify. What DNS Notify does is it says, if on a primary server I get a change, I can configure it so I notify all my secondary servers. Oh, by the way, I have a change. Come and get them. Notice that it does not send the change. It just simply says, hey, I have a change. Come and get them. It's still up to the secondaries to go and pull those particular records down. So let's go ahead and show you how we can set up notification and how we can allow for zone transfers. So I'll go out to my DNS server. We have Dougie.gov. I'll bring up the properties. We'll select zone transfers. And since this is a uh, not an Active Directory domain control that's running DNS, by default, it will allow zone transfers, but only to servers on the name server list. So as I add NS records to say, oh yes, this server and this server and this server are all going to be authoritative for the zone, they will be able to pull those zone files down. If I want to make it available for everybody, I could say to any server, but realize this allows people to loot your DNS files and find out who happens to be in your domain. Or I can specify particular servers. Now we'll leave this with a default. If I go into notify, I would automatically notify anybody who happens to be in a name server tab. Or I can notify specific servers. So if I wanted to do a daisy chain configuration where I have my Active Directory integrated zones and corporate, then in my across my wide area network, I have a standard uh, secondary server. And this standard secondary server is going to update all these other secondary servers by going in and having this one notify just this one, then the other ones can replicate from the, um, from the secondary that they have right there. And I don't have to have all the machines go across that wide area network to pull the information down. Now let me go in and show you the differences between this and a domain controller configuration. So here we have a DNS server that's also a uh, domain controller. Zone transfers by default are turned off, but you saw me turn them on. If I go into notify, notice that notify is automatically turned off. So that is a difference between a standalone DNS server and a DNS server that is running on Active Directory. Zone transfers and notify and all that is automatically turned off on Active Directory uh, DNS servers. So you won't have those.